listen, I've told you a million times, I really can't tell you how it happened. It, it all went really fast. So what you're telling me, Mr Thompson, is that you can't be sure how the murder took place? Right, so what's happening tonight, mate? You phone driving that? Get a few beers in. Nothing major though, because I'm up at seven for work. You're always a late down. Fuck work. I thought the plan was to get the lads room and get wrecked. I've not seen anyone in ages. That's all right for you to say. You're half for a week. I've just started. I kind of just show up again. I end up getting sacked. Surprise, surprise. What? Are you moaning? You want to chill out for a change? Honestly, you think you're ancient the way you've been acting? The way I've been acting? Is this because I stayed in to watch Strictly the other night? You know that was a once-off. Aye, but you had slippers on a dressing going on. That's just embarrassing me. Aye, well, it was freezing in here. Anyway, you told me you weren't going to bring that up again. Fine, why don't you go? Go and phone them. And for the record, I'm no embarrassed about watching Strictly. It's top class, so you can stop smirking at me. And you better not be inviting half of Glasgow. If there's any trouble tonight, you can deal with it. Legend of a night if I don't say so myself. Stay out of this place. It's a great night, but. Oh. Did you know those guys? I recognised a few of them, but no, I don't know them. They must have came with something else. Alright. I was gonna say they were. They were pissing a few guys off. I was gonna tell them to leave, but they disappeared. Aye, well, one of them was getting wide, wasn't he? Thought he was a bit of a hard man. So I told a lot of them to leave. Politely, obviously. Nice one. What? We've been through a lot together, eh? Oh, here we go. No, I know I'm drunk. <laughs> I'm drunk. You're on another planet. Listen, but I do love you. I know I can be an arsehole at times, but when it comes down to it, you're, you're my best friend. You're more drunk than I thought you were. <laughs> 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 Taxi. Right, I'm coming. Do you know what time it is? You pair having a laugh? I thought I made it clear that Ella and Lassie was to leave. So do me a favour just for that, eh? You don't recognise me, do you? Bye. You're that guy for Ella, you know, I'm used to say himself. I'll beat it. I know exactly. You know Lisa? Aye. What about her? Aye. Well, I'm her boyfriend. I was still her boyfriend two months ago when you were sleeping with her. I thought I recognised you from somewhere. It's not my problem, you can't keep on a leash. So what do you want? An apology? Just want to sort stuff out. Read as it's signed and that'll be ended. Who's that? Who are you speaking to? Those idiots from earlier came back. One of the guys was... The guy's gone with Lisa. Right. So what does he want then? He's wanting to talk. But I'm pretty sure he'll be waiting outside a few of his stupid mates. Don't worry, I'll deal with it. Just in case. Oh, come on, Paul. Don't be an idiot. We don't get a bit old for all this shit. Right. 
So they come up here and threaten me. And you expect me to sit back and do nothing about it? Who's <laughs> a stupid one now? Oh, well, if you get caught, you're fucked, right? That's just going to make things worse. Just leave it, eh? You think too much. You're going to have that wee brain of yours. I'm only going to scare them off. You only need to watch the vein in your forehead and you're stressed. Starting to look like a separate person. I'm serious, Paul. I'll be back soon. Oh, fuck it, I'll come with you. It's all my fault. All of it. He's dead because of me. You're saying you're responsible for the murder? Am I correct? He's dead because of me. <sighs> Did you physically stab Andy? Listen, I killed him. I'd only be repeating myself if I told you again. I don't believe you did kill him, Paul. However, we have witnesses to back up your claims. And if you don't tell the truth, there's a good chance you'll go down for murder. I've nothing else to say. 